Ladies and gentlemen, today the 2025 C8 ZR1 Corvette was just caught with its pants down. Hello everyone and welcome back to Brink of Speed. My name is Mike and I am super happy to be talking about this with you today. I cannot wait to get into this ZR1 information. The ZR1 finally has dropped its pants and is bearing all and we're able to go over exactly what all the new features are that I think each and every one of you is absolutely gonna love. I hope you guys love this thumbnail. Vengeance Graphics did a phenomenal job with it, so thank you to them for the thumbnail, but real quick before we jump into the video, please do me a favor and smash that thumbs up button. As you know, that helps YouTube know that you guys are really enjoying this content and helps the algorithm out. But let's not waste any more time, let's get into it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so here we are with the ZR1, the 2025 ZR1, and its pants are down. There are no more black padding on it. It is just camouflage now, and there's a lot we can see from these photos. Now, I'm gonna start with the biggest and most obvious difference that we can now see, and that is the gigantic rear wing. Now this gigantic rear wing is something that we all pretty much expected. As far as I was concerned, they were just showing us Z06 wings to kind of try and confuse us a bit, but I had a feeling that this wing would definitely be the main wing for the ZR1, and it would be like the ZTK wing, and then the Z06 wing would would be the low version of that. And so I'm super, super excited to see that we have this ginormous GT3 type wing. Now there is one interesting thing about it. Let me go ahead and zoom in here because as you can see, it is a little bit different looking right here. There's some bigger, boxier, covers that are on the outside of this thing. So I'm wondering if they're covering up adjustability. Obviously it's gonna be adjusted. It'll be able to be adjusted like the C7 ZR1, I would think. But I'm hoping that this is covering up maybe some electronic, like hydraulic boosters for a active aero situation. But who knows, we do see bolts and screws right here. So who knows, but that's the first thing I wanted to go over. I hope you guys like that as much as I do. I absolutely love this new wing. It is massive. Look at the side pieces, they are gigantic. Now from this angle, you can see the very next obvious piece to this, and that is the ginormous opening on the front hood here. Now, this looks a little bit rough because it's obviously not the finished product. However, when you zoom in, you can see a screen, a real nice metal screen right here to protect whatever's underneath this. Obviously, the hybrid motor is gonna be underneath this if we are correct about it being a hybrid. And so, just an interesting feature, but I think this is gonna look so sweet in person on the real deal and if you look at the thumbnail that i used which i'll put a picture up right now of that you will be able to see very clearly that this front hood scoop is gonna really make this new zr1 look super aggressive now up next let's check out the wheels and the brake rotors now obviously these are the zr1 wheels that came out a long time ago. Actually, Supercar Ranch put these wheels out many months ago, and we've been seeing them on the mules. And of course, over on the Nürburgring, we're seeing them again. And these are obviously carbon ceramic brakes, but I do think that Chevy has done a great job with these wheels. You guys let me know what you think, but I think they are really nice wheels and I wouldn't be surprised if we had other options that will look just as good, if not better than these. So the side skirt looks very similar to the Z06. So I'm not thinking that there's any change in that yet. However, we may see a change 
coming up in the near future. Let me zoom back out here though and go back around to some of the first pictures because I do want to zoom in on this hood scoop from a different angle. Um, let's go to this picture. What's really cool is when you're looking at it from the front, you really can't see that hood scoop very good because of the fact that this is a camoed car. I'm thinking though, as soon as the camo's taken off of this, just like the thumbnail render, uh, I'm pretty sure you're gonna be able to see a large intake scoop here on the hood. So also on the front, you can see the same dive planes it looks like that are used on the Z07 package Z06 and the same front splitter. Now, if we zoom back out and we go to a sideways view of that front splitter, you will see it looks like the same exact size as the front splitter on a Z06. Now, other than that, I don't see anything else new. Let me zoom back out here. In the front of the car, as far as the intakes here, it looks like the same radiators in the front and the sides. Uh, now, one interesting thing is we don't see the extra little radiator right here that we see on the E-Ray. So that could be a telltale sign or GM could just be using this as a diversion and a confuse type situation to confuse everybody out there why it doesn't have the extra radiator right here that the E-Ray has for the hybrid portion front motor. But that could clue us in on the fact that this may not be hybrid. So you just never know these days with what GM has going on, what they are hiding from us. All right, up next, this is one of my favorite new things. Check this out. So I can't wait to see this without the camo on it because this looks like the normal wishbone going here, but then they've cut out another intake here and i believe these are probably going to be directed at the rear rotors and brakes to keep them cool i could be wrong but that's what i think this is for i think this is rear brake cooling and i think that's an excellent idea from gm very good thing to do especially on a zr1 that's going to be hitting enormous speeds on straightaways at the racetrack. Now, if you scroll back up here, let's uh, move it. There's also a similar type opening on the rear hatch. And this to me is really neat. Now, obviously this is for the engine, but this also could be directly pointed at turbos. Even though I feel like if GM does put twin turbos on this thing, that they will be low mounted near the uh, exhaust down there at the bottom. But you never know. These could be going right into the engine intake or these could be mounted and going right towards the turbo intake. So that's something that I would really, really like to see without camo on it. This rear end looks exactly like the Z06. So. It doesn't look like any turbos here, any turbos here. However, we're not able to get in close enough and have a crystal clear enough view to be able to tell. But that's really all of the new things that I'm seeing on this car. If you zoom into the back hatch here, you can see that that spine is gone. So I no longer see any kind of rear spine here. Now, I will say, this definitely isn't a Zora being tested. It's definitely a ZR1. So it could be the Zora that debuts the split window and not the ZR1. And that's pretty much what I said in that video. But anyway, just wanted to point out there is no spine there. So one more thing I wanted to point out is when you zoom in on this rear wing, you can see that box cover over the rear mounts of the gigantic wing. And so again, I'm wondering if they're covering this up or if it's, that's how it's gonna come because there's electrical components in there or hydraulic components in there that are going to be able to move that wing like a 
active arrow wing. So again, I think that's gonna do it. Those are the latest new things that are uncovered since GM decided to go ahead and test this at the Nürburgring. And that's something I haven't even mentioned yet. I am super excited that this is being tested at the Nürburgring already. This is something that I predicted about a month, month and a half ago, or maybe even longer, that we would start seeing these things at the Nürburgring and they would be uncovered and we would see a lot more details. But I still think Chevy is hiding some really awesome details on this car that I cannot wait to see when they start uncovering it even more. But let me know in the comments down below what you think of these new and exciting features on the 2025 ZR1. Let me know what you thought of this video, whether you are going to actively seek to buy one of these cars or not, if you're already on a list or not, and what you think the price is gonna be. I've already predicted around 150,000 base price, but I'm probably gonna to have to reevaluate that now that pricing for Corvettes has gone up so much. But if you enjoyed it, please give it a big thumbs up. I hope each and every one of you have a wonderful rest of your day and we'll see you guys in the next upload.